And the breaking news just moments ago involving former top Trump White House official Peter Navarro. The 72-year-old has been indicted on two counts of contempt of Congress for failing to appear after being subpoenaed back in February, failing to appear and failing to turn over documents. Joining me now, NBC News Chief White House Correspondent Kristen Welker, co-host of Weekend Today, Boston Globe senior opinion writer Kimberly atkins Store. And an attorney, as well as a journalist, and Washington Post White House Bureau Chief Ashley Parker. So, Kristen, first to you. Talk to me about this stunning new development, because Peter Navarro, as I was just saying in the 11 o'clock hour, it was more than the trade advisor. He was involved in COVID-19. He was involved, uh, allegedly, in a lot of the events leading up to January 6th and after January 6th to try to overturn the election. That's right, Andrea, and that's really at the crux of this indictment. Let me read you uh, a little bit of this release, which sort of lays out why the January 6th committee felt as though it was necessary to indict Peter Navarro. He's charged with one count of involving his refusal to appear for a deposition and another involving his refusal to produce documents despite a subpoena from the House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack. The committee has said that these documents, his testimony, are critical to understanding the events that led up to that day, Andrea. As you noted, he was far beyond former President Trump's top trade advisor. He was someone who was deeply engaged in the COVID-19 response. In fact, I, of course, Trevor covered the Trump administration, had a number of conversations, of briefings with him about the COVID response, about the attempts to try to develop a vaccine. Uh, and of course, he also was one of his top advisors writ large. So his refusal to concede the election once the election was over, once it had been declared for President Biden. So that is why there's so much focus on Peter Navarro. Now, of course, this does follow a trend that we have seen from former Trump officials who have refused to either appear or turn over documents. Uh, one of his former top advisors, Steve Bannon, was indicted as well for failing to uh, turn over documents and failing to appear. And so this, again, is a part of a broader trend, but this is certainly a significant development for the January 6th committee, Andrea.